everything is new again Walking with the permigrant head so high I'm back with you when all is right Shaking on the apple tree, ticking off the honeybees Watch them fly It's just like we never said goodbye Happened to Mr. Frost. Mr. Frost is gone. Someone has killed him. Tickets. The tickets. Who, who, who's who's got the ticket? It's a spooky mystery. Ooh. Uh, so we have a mystery afoot here on the Neocraft server. Mr. Frost has gone missing. Shay. I must find him. Shay. Now oh, wait. I'm not a. 1920s detective. I am Nihon Tiger, and I'm back here at the Neocraft server. And the map has gone missing, and Mittens is here. And I don't think he has any food. No, he has no food. And there's a mysterious rail line that goes out here. Okay, so I don't know where that goes. There's a baby zombie over there. I saw that. But we have work to be done. Yes, we are coming back out here to our lovely. Giant squid octopus high spider go away. Oh, he's chasing me. I gotta kill him. But yes, we are. Oh, oh, a little bit of lag. Yes, but we have a bunch of nether rack, which will be used to do the tentacle work on our scary friend here. Okay, so first things first. I should probably set up a platform and. I also have something special to show. I have a costume. Yes. Okay. So let me very quickly, slowly, and probably saw it, but my Halloween costume for this year. Oh, let me turn off my cape so you can see the back because I, I spent a lot of time on this cape off, off cape. But, aha, yes, yes, my, my Halloween costume, I am Stone Cold Steve Austin, or Stone Cold Neon Cat, or I don't know, something, but yes, I am, I have decided to, to go as a certain professional wrestler for Halloween this year. Last year I did uh, Ghostbusters when I really liked that Ghostbusters skin. I thought about using it again, but I decided I wanted to do something a little bit different. So yeah, just to just to kind of show off on the back here, it's the his little vest that he has with the skull on the back, and then on the front I've even got the the knee braces, the double knee braces. <laughs> ah, 1.8 skins are actually. 1.8 skins are actually quite awesome in that, and the chunks are loading really slow today for some reason. So, first things first, what we want to do is come on down here. Oh, getting a, a lot of block lag. My connection's not very good at the moment. Um, but I'll do what I can, because my connection's... Occasionally, it's... It's just stupid. It just does that from time to time. My connection's actually been bad all day on the internet. I can't really load videos very much. And oh, ooh, okay. Or do anything of that nature. So it's been it's been a struggle. It's the struggle has been real today to do anything. And my ISP has provided me no explanation for why these things happen. They just do happen. So I'm kind of kind of SOL on that, but we can still kind of try and get this done. So let's see. I want to have a tentacle right here. Now we're gonna have about nine of these tentacles when we're all said and done. And truth be told, that's not actually the tentacle shape right there. I'm just making a path out here so I can make. Oh, okay. I filled in. Good. It's all filling in. But I am making just areas where the tentacle 
this will be when they hit the surface so that we can kind of figure out okay I'm gonna have one over here and one here and they'll be they'll be different lengths too so they'll be in different spots like I may have one oh, that's a invisible spider right there Let's see if I can hit him with my my bow and make him visible yep yeah me invisible got him haha <laughs> take that spider you thought you could hide from me but no the water the water sees all it's actually a really cool effect when the the water shows off an invisible spider. It'd be really cool to use on a map or something. Maybe make like water spiders. Like elemental spiders. See, I'm thinking of these ideas. I'm never going to actually use any of them. The Google Cardboard will finally be here. Ooh, looks like Charlie might be getting something. That's cool. So... Let's go ahead and set all these up, and we'll have them, again, come in all kinds of... Oh, it's... oh yeah, that's right, the, uh, the do-it-yourself thing that you can do with the Oculus, kind of the, the virtual reality stuff. I remember reading about those. Nope. Oh, oh hit, hit a block. Yep. <laughs> ah, I lost track of where it was. Okay. So, uh, let's do that. So we'll break the nether rack. And we have plenty of nether rack, so... I don't I actually don't know if we have enough to do everything we want to do, but we have plenty to at least get started. And the question becomes are we going to start today on the kind of the the back end of it and do the tentacles or are we going to do the undercarriage first and then do the tentacle after that because that might be might be easier to do the undercarriage first to connect everything up to here so we have an idea of how this looks on the bottom because I have not I've done some work where I've planned out where the tentacles are going to be so this is one two three four five and I need six seven eight nine and that'll be what we what we end up using so I've done I've done some work where I've planned that out but I've not planned out how they connect to the bottom yet. And truth be told, it would be a lot easier for me to to do that first than to just start off by making making the tentacles and then trying to figure out how to connect them later and then having it look really, really bad. So let's go ahead and do the kind of the undercarriage first, the, the least important stuff. We'll get that out of the way. The least impressive stuff will be done first, and then we'll connect this all together. So I'm going to put a tentacle down here, too. There we go. Because this can't be a sea creature without it having giant tentacles emanating from everywhere. So that's five, six, seven... And we'll do two more in the front here, so maybe like one, uh, one right here. And we're going to be using kind of a minimalist construction for the actual tentacles themselves. Basically, it's going to be this this plus shape, stacked in layers on top of each other, that kind of create the illusion of it being a cylinder. So let me do one more. We'll do one right here. Yeah, it seems like a, a good spot. I'm just kind of eyeballing where I think it might be might be wise to, to do a tentacle. But kind of here's the idea. So we're going to do something like, like that. And then this guy here will break that. We can break these underneath. Actually, yeah, we can do like that. And then one, two, three. And we'll just break these blocks while I'm down here. And that's kind of the idea for the tentacles. It won't be it won't be precise. We could have used a lot of things. We could have gone with, say, using, you know, stairs and stuff. But that would have required us to, first off, not been able to use the actual nether rack material here that we want to use. We would have had to use something more like, I don't know. You know, another another brick or 
wood or something that didn't look quite as right. So here's, by the way, this is this giant mouth. We have to fix the teeth at some point here. And this will kind of connect back here. And then I'll have kind of this, I think, come back a little bit and like that. And that, there we go. And let's go ahead and break this block and this block. You know, oh, I'm drowning, I'm drowning, I'm drowning, I'm drowning. Oh, took a little bit of damage. Okay. I'm fine. So we'll do that. And then your jaw will kind of come back like so. It's raining out. I can hear it. Like that, and then we'll fill in this top part as well. That won't really matter. On the inside here. Actually, none of this will really matter too much because this is also going to kind of be where the bottom comes in for the, the monster's head. So, what we want is since this is done, I kind of have the eyes. And here, and then have this come down. This comes down. This comes down. Oh, I'm drowning. Drowning again. Drowning. Got it. All right. So here we go. Down here, it's storming. That's perfect. That's perfect. So Halloween is coming tomorrow or today actually it's today for those of you who are watching this video I should have made some water breathing potions but I'm too stupid to figure that out right now so let's kind of do this and then I have these come down one like so and actually yeah this needs to come down here and this will be kind of our, this is where our bottom will be for our, no, 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 I don't want that one. That one's fine. This is where our bottom will be for our sea creature. So let's see how that looks real quick. I think that looks fine. Nope. <laughs> The baby squid's trying to meet with mama. Mama's mama, 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 mama. No. Oh, he's gonna go into the. Is he gonna go into the mouth? He's trying to. That's kind of creepy, but whatever. See, I like the fact that the squids are around here. That's the theming. The theming. And there's a creeper over there, and the zombie is chasing me. Hi. But. Yeah, we have got a little bit. Of this all set up. So now what we need to do is first and foremost we gotta fill in this spot here. We're gonna leave a kind of a small hole. I guess you could say we'll leave a small hole here for kind of entry and exit of the sea creature. So let's see if we can do a kind of a hole, maybe right here. Okay, so this this will be our our magic access hole in case we ever need to get inside for anything. But this is the the bottom of the sea creature, and there we go. So, oh, what was that? Was that did that actually strike the the scary spooky place? That would be interesting. But yeah, lightning's trying to strike me again. I gotta be careful. So here I want to start extending this out a little bit. At least in spots. Here we should have made some water breathing potions. We made less a lot easier. One, two, one. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To the surface, to the surface. Made it. Get out of the way, squids. You're in the way now. 
no longer theming, but I'm going to kind of put this little edge here so we can start connecting the tentacles down here. So one, two, three, actually, no, I don't want to do that. That's just, maybe I did, maybe I did want to do that. Happy little accidents sometimes happen. So, yeah, we can have this one kind of curl up a little bit, I guess. Down here. So, one, two, three, four, five. And I want this, want this one to kind of, if I can make this turn a little bit. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. We're actually using more blocks than I wanted to, so one, two, three, four, five, and I can pop this middle one out. I should use the torch trick. I really should use the torch trick. I should just uh just set up like a, a torch trick right here. Like for those of you who don't know a torch trick. That's what that does. That would be a lot easier if I just did that from now on. One, two, three. Torch trick. Four. Five. Okay. So that's kind of one tentacle that has found its way. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. That worked that time. Good. So this tentacle is kind of connected, and now we have to just, just shape it to... The rest of the body here. So you can just do just do that. Tentacle number one is almost connected properly. You have to be careful with the torch trick because sometimes it doesn't work right away. So Alright, so that's that's connected. go and now we want to connect I think this one here which will use a similar kind of technique just uh, drag this down a little bit make sure when you do the torch trick that you're standing actually next to thing that you want to put the torch on otherwise it doesn't work like it should three 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 four oh oh I'm drowning drowning okay okay I was close and now I'm gonna want to do this and I'm gonna do one two three torch trick four and that means I have to break that block and that block. Oh! Is that more... That was lightning. That was lightning hitting something around here. So... Actually, we want to keep the... Keep this one here, because this is gonna... Oh, no. New! New! Here we go. Yeah, so for Halloween, I don't have any plans at the moment. In case you were you were curious if I had plans for Halloween this year, I I have none. Just to uh, just to sit at home and really probably not do a whole lot, mostly because I'm gonna be working on Halloween. I'll actually be at my job doing football. We have you know usual Friday night football games to cover this year and. It happened to be on Halloween this this time around, so that means that I don't get a break like I like you might think I would. So let's put one down there. And there, I think that's that's two tentacles that we've kind of connected. I think there might be a hole down here somewhere. No, are we are we okay on that? 
Yeah, I think we're okay on that one. I've attracted a horde. Maybe put one there. Some blocks there. Will that make it? That won't make it. That doesn't make it any better. I'm looking at it right now. I kind of like the, the flat shape a little better. Alright, so that one's done. Torch trick saved me. Thank you. So there we go. Those are kind of connected and looking cool. There's big ol' water hole there. Hi, zombies. How you doing? Here. Have fun. I think these are flame bows, so they're not gonna affect them too much, but... A sword. My sword will hurt. Oh, okay. I knocked them back quite a bit. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, since you have an idea of what I'm doing now, I'm gonna go ahead first and talk a little bit about my Halloween plans, and, or really my lack of Halloween plans, and then I'm also gonna probably make a few few cuts here and there just to speed up the process a little more. So, I will be... No, I won't be right back. Will I? Maybe I will. Actually, I will be right back. I'm gonna do a couple more of these, and then we'll talk about Halloween. Alright, so I've connected up four of them, and I realize I might not have enough room for for eight of these. Great. So, let's go ahead. We've got these two in the front. We'll connect these two up, and then we've got these two on the side that we have to deal with. So, we'll have at least six tentacles. I don't know if we'll have, we'll have eight like I'd hoped. But six is fine. Six is, six is good enough, because it means it's not an octopus, right? That's kind of what we're going for. We don't want this to, It's octopus-like, but we don't want it to be an octopus. So if I wanted to build an octopus, I would build a, a purple one with Stanley Cups because that's the Red Wings mascot, and obviously the Red Wings are my favorite hockey team, so why wouldn't I do that? <laughs> but in other news, I wanted to talk a little bit about Halloween, and I mentioned a little bit ago I didn't have any plans for Halloween. I don't really have any plans to go out. Part of it is because I'm I'm working on Halloween as it falls on a Friday this year and I do football videos for work for the newspaper I work at. I handle doing football stuff and it's kind of playoff time so it's very important that I am there and I'm able to... Okay, this is a little too close to the mouth. Can I... I'm going to shift this over one block, I think. I do that? Yeah, I could do that because this kind of comes down a little bit here. I'm going to move this all over one uh, one block. So we'll do it like that. And then we'll just have it turn here. So let's do that. Let's take all this stuff out. Make it a lot easier for me. Torch trick. Thank you. But yeah, I don't have any Halloween plans. I don't even have a costume this year. I've got so many costumes I've wanted to do. The Ghostbusters skin that I did last year for uh, VBFS costume contest is actually a costume I would like to do at some point. Not just for, for Halloween, even for going to conventions and stuff. I want to have a Ghostbusters costume. I think that'd be awesome. Have like a personalized Ghostbusters costume with my name on it and everything. It'd be really cool. You even get the you know the PK meter and the goggles and the goggles they do nothing. Actually they do something and so that would that would be pretty cool to do that. And the proton packs and everything too, but that would be that would be a significant investment of time and resources and you know, being a that's it. Oh, oh try this even. Oh oh drown, no. See, uh, Charlie. Okay, so Charlie's heading off, so I'm gonna be the only one on again. So I have a little bit of solace and ability to kind of do as I please. Oh, don't drown. So let's do. Uh, oh, I ran out of. Why did that not work? Okay. Sometimes I hate this thing. 
Actually, let's just uh, let's just do that, and we'll call it even. Does that look okay? It's not. Yeah, that's, that looks fine. That's not taking away too much from the the tentacle. And that, that'll look fine when I'm when I'm done with it too. Actually, maybe. Maybe this should probably go that block, and then that block. That looks better. That looks a little better, I think. Let's take a look at it from a another angle here. Maybe actually this one might be... Building with angles is very hard because you're trying to figure out how to do all this stuff. Something like that. I could do it like that and that. And then that's all connected. And then get rid of that, get rid of that. Actually, now I want to keep that one. And... Maybe get rid of these ones. Now, because now it looks a little detached. Um, do something like that. Um, yeah, I think that's okay. I think that gets across the point of what we're trying to do. So now we got our tentacles here attached on five sides. We just need to put. Oh, do I have nine? I have nine. Okay, so this one's gonna have to go. This one's not gonna make the cut. Sorry. Not gonna happen. So, this one out here has got to... It's gonna be a sh short one on the surface, but it will be... Probably the longest one underground. So we'll do that. And torch. And we'll start to, uh, oh, no, let's not do that. We'll start to turn it, but yeah, since it's, you know, since it's football season, I have to kind of to do that. I don't even have a costume ready. I have some great ideas. Obviously, I mentioned the Ghostbusters one being an idea I would love to do. I'm going to break this just to make space for it. Torches. Thank you. Thank you. Um... I've got a, I've got like a million costume ideas, but none of them surprisingly are like you know anything too outrageous. It's not like I'm going as a you know a naughty YouTuber or a naughty anything anytime soon. But it would be nice to kind of one of these days actually be able to go to a Halloween party and not have to work. I find that that happens a lot with uh, with the business I'm in. You get a lot of a lot of holidays. You have to work, and not necessarily me specifically, but you know there are, there are plenty of people who I work with who have to to work on Christmas or or New Year's or something like that. I've worked I've worked those shifts before. They're not fun. Oh, there we go. So okay, we're actually. We've actually built <laughs> up to another tentacle. We don't want to do that. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to have this one kind of wrap around and be kind of in a different spot here. So this one's going to go this way. I'm not going to have it jog quite so far over. So I'll have it end here. But... You know, Halloween's going on right now. Actually, the trick-or-treaters are going around. Not in my neighborhood. Well, they probably are going around my neighborhood. I just don't know because they don't come around my apartment complex very much. But, you know, all the trick-or-treaters are going out tonight because football is tomorrow night. So they want to make sure all the kitties can, can have fun, I guess, before... Oh, what the hell? I really do need water-breathing potions if I'm going to be doing this stuff in the future. Just... Make a note to yourself, don't forget the water breathing potions, because this torch stuff is getting ridiculously stupid to remember. So how are we 
Okay, we're still a little close. That's fine. So we'll just extend it out this way. Maybe a couple of blocks, like so, over the surface. So we'll have it kind of come in here. Or maybe we can move, can we move this one over here? Yeah, let's do that. Let's switch these up. So, torch trick again. Let's do that. Break this one. And this will be kind of our, our new attach point for this. For this one right here. This guy will come in here. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm also, I should probably also come to the surface and eat some food because I'm getting hungry. Getting hungry. There we go. That'll help. That will help out a lot. So let's do that, 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 that. And then we'll start to bring this one in. A little more. Good. And that's actually where the the old one connected, so that's fine. Three, four, five. But Halloween for me has always kind of been a fun holiday. My parents used to, you know, I, I had the parents who were the crazy costume parents who did like the best costumes on the block they do like really creative stuff for for me and my siblings i mean i've gone maybe we don't need to yeah you know, maybe we should move this just a little bit so we'll just move this like right here instead but my sisters and i have gone as let's see mini and mickey mouse with the full the full costumes the costumes were actually made they were not you know bought you know a lot of people they buy their costumes they're like oh we'll just buy this costume right here at the store or something like that and, uh -uh, that's not how it worked in, in my house my parents made my costumes and everything was like hand formed and fitted to in my tiny my tiny little body i was always a really short little kid i was always a shrimp uh, despite what, you know, doctors would say, oh, he's perfectly healthy and, uh, you know, whatever percentile, he's supposed to be like the 50 percentile. I was always really short. That's just the way it was. God. Stupid breathing. I feel like I may have actually gone too far here away from the body and I'm closer to where the mouth is. Yeah, I want this to kind of come up here. So if I can maybe do... One of these -es. and then kind of have this attach here and we'll figure it out. So let's kind of sculpt away this part right here. And that looks better. That looks better. Looks a little better. This whole, th whole thing is kind of a giant mess of tentacles and Scariness, anyways. So actually, I want this. I don't want this to be here. I want this to be one block in. I want it to be right here. And then this can be torch. Thank you. This can move one block up, and that will connect that to that. So that's looking good. And then we can kind of, actually, that's the bottom of the mouth. I don't want that. There we go. So there we go. It's the, I think that's everything. Let me take a look here real quick. Let's go to the surface. Have a look. So this, this tentacle over here, this one that's way over here is not gonna, not gonna happen. We'll just break this one up because that's that's just not going to happen we have just too small of a space and not not enough area to mess around with that so we only have six we only have six tentacles but i think that looks good i think that looks that looks decent that's kind of 
this part. We have plenty of plenty of another rack left over. So really looking forward to that. But yeah, my parents were you know, they they made us Power Rangers costumes, which are probably my favorite ones. I was the Greed Ranger one year. I've gone as a, like an Apple two E computer. I went as that for once. And eventually after a while I kinda outgrew trick or treating and thought, oh, you know, I went through my phase where I was like, oh, this is too childish and I don't want to, you know, be a kid anymore. I want to be an adult. So I have to do adult things and trick or treatings for adults. And then the other thing was we moved out to the country. So that kind of meant we couldn't really go trick or treating unless we went into town, which is three miles away. And I was just at that point, I was just kind of like, screw it, whatever. I don't feel like doing it anymore. If I need to, I'll just be like, soccer guy or something and I never really did do a lot of trick-or-treating again after you know I turned about 10 or 12 which I guess all all things pass and eventually you kind of get old enough where a lot of that stuff doesn't seem as exciting as it was before but I have a lot of good memories maybe maybe I can share some of them next time because we're going to work on the actual tentacle ends in the next part of this this series so as always guys thanks for watching good luck good mining have fun enjoy spooky halloween and i'll see you guys here next time when we finish up our scary tentacle monster and that's the bottom line because nyan nyan said so